What's up everybody? So I'm back editing brand new videos on fraud editors. Today we have a crazy story with Acura Amanda and I just wanted to tell you guys that I will be back on the main channel very shortly within the next couple of days. But I want to make sure that you keep subscribing to this channel because even when I'm back on the main channel, this channel will be used for little updates on fraud editors, just like what we're about to do right now. So let's get on with the topic at hand. Acura Amanda received a warrant, but not for her arrest, a warrant for her YouTube account. And that is unseen. I've never seen that before. And we'll talk about what this all means. But first, let's hear what the dummy has to say. What's going on guys? Acura Amanda here. Have you guys ever gotten an email like this? So apparently the West Palm Beach Police Department is on its latest fishing expedition. That's right. So the West Palm Beach Police Department has served Google, apparently, with a search warrant to gain access to my Google account. And what they're looking for, who knows, guys? It's just another fishing expedition by yours truly, the West Palm Beach Police Department. Guys, I will keep you updated as this comes along. I'm going to try to reach out to Google and there is a case number that's associated in this email. I have already done a records request for this case number. More than likely, they're going to cite a statutory exemption, meaning until the case is closed, we will not know what the contents of this case number until, guys. Stay tuned, but there you go, guys. I have nothing else to report here. Acura Amanda signing out. Uh, West Palm, I hope you guys find what you're looking for. Good luck. So let's read the document and then we'll talk about it. Dear Google user, on June 29th, 2023, Google received legal process issued by West Palm Beach Police Department directing Google to produce records related to Google accounts that are linked or associated with a specified identifier. You are receiving this email because your Google account is an account that is linked or associated with a specified identifier in the legal process. The agency reference number or case number on the legal process is, and there's the number, unless we promptly receive a copy of a filed motion to quash that is file stamped by a court of competent jurisdiction, Google may provide responsive documents pursuant to applicable law, such as the Electronic Communications Privacy Act. In most cases, the file stamp motion to quash must be received by Google within seven days of the date of this notification. So in my opinion, obviously I'm not a lawyer, but I think even a toddler could understand what's going on here is that the police department launched a criminal investigation in Acura Amanda's YouTube activities. That is obviously what's happening because obviously, as you guys know, frauditing is a criminal activity. The frauditors are committing crimes, trespassing, harassment, and all sorts of other crimes. And they're gaining paid by the advertisers and they're getting money for committing their crimes. So right now, possibly they're trying to build up a case against her YouTube activities, which is fantastic news. It shows that the police department is proactive into stopping this specific frauditor at the source, which is her YouTube account. This is where she uploads all her crimes. So obviously there's going to be a ton of evidence there. Just keep in mind, I know a lot of dummies will believe that frauditing is a constitutionally protected activity. In fact, very obviously, it's a criminal activity. It's very, very obvious, and you would have to be a moron not to see that. Anyway, so that's it for the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be posting new updates on this channel regarding many frauditors, so make sure to subscribe to this channel as well as the main one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I live here!